For more videos visit for the sake of education.com. Alright guys, let's do this problem where they want you to find the normal force, shear force, and moment at point C. <clears throat> As you can see, you have two distributed loads. They are triangular. So these distributed loads can be replaced right here. You say this is A, A is anchored. You got B, you got a reaction at B, you got C right here. And we got two distributed loads which can be replaced by forces. They're both the same. Let's call them F of Y, F of Y since they're both the same. They're acting at one third from the long edge of the triangle. One third of one meter is one meter. So this is from here to here, there's one meter. So we got a force right here and a force right here. F of Y, F of Y. And from here to here, there is one meter. I'm saying from here to here, one meter. So as you can see, you have a reaction at A that is both vertical and a possible horizontal reaction at A. So what you want to do is use the method of sections at the right side of this thing. And you don't got to worry so much about this distributed load because the distributed load is triangular shape and it's cut right on top of C so it doesn't really matter like in the previous problem. That being said the first thing we got to do is f let's find the uh, f of y. f of y is equal to the distance of one triangle the length of one triangle which is 3 times the 9 kilonewtons per meter 3 times the 9 kilonewtons per meter divided by 2 because it's the area of the triangle and the area of the triangle is length times height divided by 2. So that is equal to 13.5 kilonewtons. Now we got f of y. Now we got to find b of y. Find b of y. To find b of y, we're going to start at point A. And we're going to do that the sum of the moments at A is equal to 0. Let's assume clockwise is positive. So we got the moment created by the first f of y f of y times 2 because from a to the first f of y is 2 meters because the whole length of the triangle is 3 minus 1 is 2 meters plus f of y times 4 because it's the whole length of a triangle plus 1 which is 4 meters minus b of y times 6 is equal to 0 we got the f of y we found them right here to be 13.5 so when you solve for b of y, you get that b of y is equal to also 13.5 kilonewtons. So now we're going to use the method of sections, and so we're going to cut this section on the dotted line I drew right here. So let me draw this section right here. So C is at the left. We got the reaction at VVY which we found to be a 13.5 and we got an f of y acting right at one third from c which is one meter so this is one meter and this whole thing is three meters so we have a shear force a normal force shear and a moment let's assume that it's going clockwise. So let's find the normal first, since it's the easiest. There's no other horizontal force, so NC is equal to zero. Easy. Let's find BC now, which is a share. Again, we're assuming this orientation for the X and Y. So sum of the forces in the Y is equal to zero. So we got the share going up minus f of y plus b of y you know that f of y and b of y are the same 13.5 so they cancel each other out so we got that vc is equal to zero there is no shear force at c interesting and last but not least let's do the moment here because i'm running out of space let's assume that clockwise is positive the sum of the moments at c is equal to zero so mc plus 
f of y times 1 because the distance from c to f of y is 1 minus b of y times 3 because the distance from c to b of y is 3 meters we got f of y and we got b of y they're both 13.5 so when you plug them in and you solve for the moment you get that the moment is equal to 27 kilonewton meters going clockwise because we assume clockwise was positive so final answer for the normal force, final answer for the shear force, and final answer for the moment at C. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.